Hey guys, this is a video for a YouTube user named, I think it's pronounced Obliviox. Sorry if I got that wrong. But um, uh, you wanted to know a little bit about how the concept of busing works. So I'll give it a go at explaining. Basically, busing is the same as grouping, or if you see subgroups, that all means busing. Um, put simply, dr drums is the perfect example to, to have a you know concept of how busing works. Um, and I'll just use it on... This is I actually used this in another video, but this will just work out just fine. For example, here I've got two kicks. Hopefully I'll have this zoomed in enough. I've got two kicks. Um, and when you're writing me, you know, sending me those messages, you, you basically nailed it right on the head. Um, there's kind of two ways you can process things. You can get your different audio channels, send them to one bus, another auxiliary channel. That's your group. And then you can process those two kicks all under one channel and it also gives you the ability to you know to set that 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 level to control the two kicks with the one fader so I'll show you what I do um, yeah I basically I've got two kicks here and you can see here this is on kick number two bus one I've got if I just go down and select bus you can see I've got some these are my buses here I've got a kick bus snaps bus which is clear I mean claps and sna snares and a drums bus they're perfectly they're a good example okay so I've got both of these kicks here you can see on either of those kicks I don't even have any processing on the channel but then on the channel here bus one this is effectively my bus okay so there's an EQ on that one and there's actually a compressor but it's just bypassed at the moment the same same with um, claps. So I'll move this up here. Is another clap. So here we go. I've got a, two snares and a clap, and they are, as you can see, down in this bottom part here. When I click on all of them, they are all sent to bus two. Bus two is for the snares and claps. Okay, and I can then process those ones all together. When you, when you bust things and then you put a compressor on them, you kind of gel all the elements together so that they sit really nicely. Um, and then once I have my kicks and my snares and even my percussion, I then, I, I even, after I've routed all my individual drums to the kick or to the snare or to the hat bus, I then, I can then bus those the kick bus, the snare bus, and the percussion bus, I then send all those three buses and send them to a drums bus. So all of those, all of my drums, can now be controlled by a single bus. On the side here, if I just go to it. This one here, if I just solo it. See that? I can control it, everything from that one bus. And you can see I've got a compressor, this compressor here, on the entire drum bus. And then the same is done with synths. You can just send all your synths. So for example, if I have five or six bass lines, which I often do, well I often have like 10, 20 bass lines, I'll, most, more often than not, I'll get all those sounds and I'll send them to one bus. I can then compress the whole lot, just a bit of compression, I can then compress the whole lot and it gets them all gelling and sitting nicely together and if I you know if I need to then it then actually it actually helps your mixing as well at the uh, at the end of the project because instead of having to just try and find one or two synths to, to turn it down um, you can just then go to your synth bus or your riff bus or your strings bus whichever bus you want to just turn down and you've got that one fader controlling maybe I don't know four or five channels that were making your bass line, four or five channels that were making your higher, you know, strings or blippy sounds, and you can just control it all from there. Um, yeah, drums is a perfect one. You can you just get all your individual elements, send them to a, a auxiliary channel. It's called a bus, a group, whichever you want to, whichever way you want to say it. Um, and then you can all you know the audio just goes into that one channel. You can control that bus with the fader 
and you and you can still control each individual track with the volume faders and pan knob and stuff like that. So I uh, I hope that helped you a little bit. If not, man, just send me another message. That's it's all good. Thanks.